10 News is back. Some Valley students are making a huge difference combining technology and their passion for science and medicine. And they're doing it to help their peers. Anita Roman has more on how they're creating 3D hands. There are all these uh, elastic cords and fishing wires that are strung across the hand. And these things, these... The design uh, is complex, like but the idea the is simple. My dad, he, uh, Intel actually hosted an event where um, these, this company, they provided the hands, and Intel assembled them. And uh, my dad participated in that event, and he told me about it. And I thought it was pretty cool, so uh, I wanted to do it at my school. Raul J., a student at Basis Chandler, started the Hand Challenge Initiative here in Arizona this past summer. Summer. His goal, to create, build, and assemble 30 prosthetic 3D hands to be donated to the Hand Challenge, an organization that helps children in need. 30 hands, I thought that would be a good amount where I could still make a difference, but like it doesn't require too much money and it's uh, money that I can uh, fundraise. The design's not mine. The design is, comes from an online community. It's called the Hand Challenge. Um, they provide the design. They provide the, um, the sizing that you'd like. Our company helps uh, people who make physical products either make those products or we sell them the tools they need to make those products. Jay teamed up with PADT, or Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies. The company is printing the unassembled prosthetic hands over the next few weeks so Jay's classmates can help assemble them. It's a win-win-win because it's an ability to provide the, the child that needs the prosthetic with, with a free hand that's kind of cool, but it's also a chance for the school to learn how to manage a project how to put things together, and it's a chance for us to get back to the community. The kits Jay uses cost $25 a piece. He's raised about $900 so far, but needs help raising more money so he can help even more kids. Anita Roman, Fox 10 News.